the study was speaking and drawing and drawing takes most of them. I really am better at painting than the drawing part, but I'm better in the years of drawing with the help of Don Juan and, and uh, Mark Ham, you know, it's, these guys really helped me a lot. So, yeah, it's, it's a great joy. I get to do this at home, you know, it's wonderful. I love it. Well, congratulations. Thank and you. I am definitely going to check out your work. your experience there. Not I don't know, I'm very shy. Uh, uh, no, uh, well, it was interesting. Uh, sorry, I can't resist. That wasn't me, by the way. Uh, I didn't do that. I forget who it was, but it wasn't me. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? No. No, I am. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'll just continue. Yeah, well, I, I did have a song in The Lion King, but you weren't supposed to think it was me. And, uh, I didn't sing the whole thing. Actually, I didn't do any of the talking, but there was a song called Be Free Bad, and then you laugh. <laughs> Villains have to laugh at the end of the song. It's in, it's in the rule book. But um, I, I got to pitch it for Jeremy Irons, mm -hmm. and that was a, I was crazy happy about it. I just love to sing, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And so I finished the song. Uh, so, oh, you know, I have, to, <laughs> I have two credits I'm really proud of. I got the fart joke in Nakuna Matata. I wrote it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I like to class things up. You know, um, but we, <laughs> no. We're definitely classing this panel. And I got down on it. Every time that I, oh, but not in front of you, it's the Anyway, but I didn't say it, I didn't say it. But you heard it in your head. And uh, so, no, I, it was fun. I, I just got to uh, finish off the end of Be Prepared. And, and, uh, and I did the villain laugh. And uh, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I was also the brain trust of the movie. I was Ed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's probably because I kind of look like him. And they went, you know, we got a role for you. So I sat there, and the process was a rock make up. They didn't know how to do it. They, they didn't know how. They knew it was a laughing hyena. And so we had to laugh. And the way we did it was, um, and Rob thought this up on the spot. He goes, so how do I do this? Oh, I, I write this down. Grief, agony, pain. Loneliness, uh, <laughs> actual happiness, and it disgruntledness. Uh, and we just went down the line and he said, Now give me a laugh for each of those. And I went, Oh, piece of cake. <laughs> you know, so, uh, so I just went down, ooh, 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 ooh. you know, and, and it, it was hard to look at. But, uh, <laughs> Because it, it somewhere it surfaced years, a few years ago, that somebody brought a picture of me doing it. And, uh, and I remember them taking, there was a guy over there with a, a video camera. And I'm there, and my hair's all dark. <laughs> it was a while ago. And, uh, and, all, and all there. And, uh, and it was really it was weird to see. But it was all the weird little laughs. And one was for sadness. I mean, I don't know how you do that one. But, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And did I answer anything? You did, you did. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Would that be considered one of your most unusual experiences in the booth? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that and the voice of a show, of a, of a critter called the Mangler, which we won't mention. Uh, and it, it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a Toe Hooper uh, movie. He just made Christine. And uh, do you remember, a long time ago, and, but this one was a, a stupid, <laughs> it was a printing press that would pull people, a, 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 actually a, a big giant clothing press that was big enough to iron a pup tent, and it would squeeze people into it and then crush them, and then they would vanish, and so they wanted a voice for that. <laughs> and I said, what the hell? You know, and so, and I said, yeah, well, you know, no, and then they, they hired me to do it, and I said, well, oh, I want twice as much. Because I don't know. I figured they would say no, and they go, okay. 
And I'm like, crap, now I have to do it. <laughs> so I did it, and uh, do me a favor. Don't go out and see it, but they can, or on video or anything. But if you do, I'm happy to say that at the end of the thing, at the end of the credits, it says, Voice of the Mangler, Tim Cummings. Yes! <laughs>